2D collision detection. So we have a position for our character in 2D space and we want to know if we've crossed the boundary that we're going to define with two endpoints. Call this vector v1 and this one v2 and our, our boundary is going to be directed from right to left in front of our ship. So the other information we need about this boundary or wall is a direction that it faces out into the play field. What's a valid region? So we're going to pick an arbitrary uh, convention here that our, like I said, our wall is going to go from right to left as the spaceship is looking at it. And we're going to have create a normal vector that points towards what is uh, good, what's, what's a valid place to be. So we need to store V1 and V2 vectors in our wall and we're going to call this vector n for a normal vector. That normal vector can be calculated as, uh, we'll do a temporary vector here, p equals v2 minus v1. Always when you create a vector, you want to go in a certain direction, you subtract the tip of the vector from, or the tail from the tip. And that will give you a vector pointing in the direction of uh, v2, the, the one that you're subtracted from. And then n would be, well, we'd normalize p, we'd normalize p, and n equals, we'll say p gets normalized, p normalize. Then n would equal p, now this direction going, you know, our vector's going towards this way, we're going to want to go counterclockwise perpendicular, so we'll call this perp ccw for n. So we, what we want to do is run through all of our boundaries, if we have more than one, at the beginning of the game and calculate this information. We'll have uh, store v1 and v2 as, you know, as, a, as a class, for the object for this wall, and go through each of them and calculate n as the difference normalized perpendicular. Now we have enough information we can calculate how far away we are from this wall. So this distance right here is what we want to calculate and we can do that with a vector projection. And so this distance d will be a vector projection of, ah, now here's another thing, piece of information we need to know. So if we just take the vector Here's our screen origin, okay, upper upper left corner. The vector from of our ship's position, call it p, different p. Uh, we dot that with the normal. You know, let's draw the normal of the wall here. You're going to see you're going to get you know some perpendicular distance like that is going to be the the vector projection. That's not telling us any information about where we are from the wall. We need to be in the same space of the wall, so we need to take one of these vectors here. And the only reason we need to take uh, one of these from V1 or V2 to our ship is because they are on the wall. We need a vector, that, a position that's on the wall so that we have something relative to the wall that we're talking about. So we'll call this vector Q. Q equals P minus V1. Remember the head of the arrow comes first, we subtract the tail of the arrow. We want something pointing from the wall to the ship. Now we can take Q, project Q onto N, which is just Q dot N, because in this case N is normal, is unit length, and we don't need to divide by the length of N in order to project it. So the distance from the wall to the ship is q dot n, where q is p minus v1. So you could write it out like this. d equals p minus wall v1 dot n. Okay, this is the this is how we're going to do collision detection. This d uh, gives us our distance, and I would suggest you take 
two measurements, D1 equals, we'll call it P1 minus wall V1 dot N, and then we're going to do uh, move our ship forward in, in time, which equals P1 plus V times DT from update. Then D2 is going to be P2 minus V1 dot N. And if that, so here's D1, if that D2, if we happen to be moving in this, you know, our velocity is going to push us across the wall and we have a new ship position over here, so we'll call this P2. If this distance here is a different sign from this distance, then we've collided. So if D1 is greater than zero and D2 is less than zero, then we've collided. And we need to do something about it.